Hello folks, it's Mitch Boyle, Triple Double Sports Cards with the best, at least I like to think so, in vintage basketball. And we got some grades back from PSA. You saw the 86, 87 clear stickers video with Larry, well, the whole gang, except for Abdul Jabbar and Michael Jordan, which will come in a different video. Anyway, we were fortunate enough to get some tins. We got a tin, Gem Mint, of course, with Magic Johnson and Dominique Wilkins. I was excited about that. The harder grades to get from the 80s material early on, 81, 82, specifically Kevin McHale, Larry Bird, Magic Johnson, with their first full cards. Uh, but today I'm gonna reveal the grades that I got back from PSA recently. And not only that, but please stay to the end because I have something fun to show you about how much I spent on packs and how much I spent on a few other things uh, back in that era to kind of put everything in coordination. So let's go ahead and we're gonna show the, uh, first of all, we're gonna show Kevin McHale. Uh, and uh, I think I got 10 of these cards back or so. Um, these again, very hard to get high grades on as those of you who know, because, and even if you don't, you're gonna see it now. The problem here is that the uh, centering is almost impossible with the very narrow borders. It really shows off those issues. But we didn't do too bad here. Eights and nines for Kevin McHale and Topps 1981 are probably going for, on average, is an eight going between 50 and 100 and a nine going between 100 and 200? Probably so. So again, here's another uh, couple. And you know what's interesting about this one is that I'm gonna guess that the one on the right that's the nine, there's probably a soft edge or two because the centering on this one is really about as good as you're gonna get. Um, you can see the one on the right where the center and top to bottom, excuse me, on the left is not quite as good as necessary. All right, here we go. All right, so 81, 82, Tops Basketball, number 75, Kevin McHale. This is his rookie card, if you didn't know. Um, we've got, again, a nine and an eight. Uh, I don't know if this game was in the garden or not, but uh, that's Elvin Hayes on the left trying to, and like nobody ever did, block McHale's hook shot. And then you had Wes Unseld. Both of those guys are Hall of Famers, but both of them were uh, towards the end of their career in this uh, particular year, if you will. All right, we got a nine and an eight again. And uh, again, this nine is in pretty good shape. Uh, it's a little hard to tell the way this is framed in the holder, but the one on the, the left is um, quite good. The one on the right, the centering's off a little bit right to left. All right, so let's hop to Larry Bird. We got 18 of these that I sent out. Um, you're gonna see the good news right out of the chute. Uh, the majority of the, the cards that we got back were nines. I think we got uh, 10 nines, and I think we got um, eight eights. Uh, but these cards, somewhere in here, there's probably a 10. Nobody felt sorry for me, though. But uh, again, the centering is about as good as it gets. Hard to get these corners, though, uh, perfect. You'd have to crack them from, uh, I say you have to crack them from a pack. Um, in order to, to get the 10, because if they've been handled it all over the last, say, 30 years, like that's all these cards are since they were cracked or in a set, uh, it's just not going to be that, that way. Um, seven, that's interesting. Uh, and again, as I said to begin with, it looks like it's primarily a centering thing. I really can't tell from a corner standpoint how bad those are. All right, let's take a look at a couple more. Got another nine and another eight. Boy, I like that nine a lot. Is it a little bit off top to bottom? I guess, I don't know. All right. Another pair of nines. So what are nines going for? Um, we'll look at that in a minute, but um, I want to say anywhere from 750 to 600 right now. So, um, and they've really jumped as most of you know. Pair of eights here for Lawrence. 
centering thing for sure, right? I mean, left, <laughs> at least according to the one on the right, the centering's way off the left. It's almost out of skew if you see that, much wider at the top. Could they have gotten me on a miscut here? Gosh, almost looks like it. You know, the miscut thing, I, I, I'm i curious about because I don't know if people were, well, I'm sure they were sophisticated enough to be trying miscuts back in the 90s, but in a lot of cases, I also think the factory wasn't cutting these cards very well. Um, you can just, you can see it when the edges are so frayed. Um, and certain cards are always off center, and I'll show you one when we get towards the end of this, uh, that when it comes to the back of the card, it can never be centered perfect. And that's why this card that I'm going to show you at the end, I don't think you'll ever find a 10. All right. Larry Bird, a couple more nines. Isn't that fun? Which one do you like better? I'd love to know. We got, uh, well, we, they're consecutive here. You got 939 or do you like 940 better? 939 or 940? Which one is the better card and why? Uh, I'm just going to do a couple more. I'm not going to do all 18. And um, we'll be done. All right. Look at here's 943 and 942. <laughs> Got somebody's having fun grading these. Well, that's a nine. Maybe it's a 10. And then they go down the hallway. I think this one might be a 10. And the guy says, well, here's the problem. They're worth 16,000 bucks. Are you, are you willing to say that it's a $16,000 card? Now, if I asked you that two years ago, it would have been about a $400 card. And you would have said, yeah, it's a 10. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's what I think it's going on right now. I think some of these cards where their prices that are going through the roof, people are, they're being very more discerning at PSA about the grades that they give. So, all right, take a look at this. So this is, uh, I'll move this over just a skosh if I can. There we go. Oh, she's gonna, there, okay. Faraday baseball cards out of Morton, PA. On April 31st, 1990, I bought 100 packs of 81, 82 tops basketball at $5 each. So how much is a pack going for right now? Probably ungraded. <sighs> 100, 150 graded if it's a seven or an eight, 200 to 250. Um, as a matter of fact, I just sent a full box of cards to, to get graded. Uh, here's something else that you're gonna find interesting. Uh, might just shut off a little bit there, uh, but you can still read this. Uh, okay, so a box of 8182 that I bought on July 17th, 1990. And I also had a set that I bought from Robert Montando. Does anybody remember Robert Montando? If you can see there, the price was $425 all in. Now the question is, what did I pay for what? I want to say I was getting Topps basketball boxes anywhere from $200 to $250. And then the set was probably whatever that difference is. Uh, I guess that would be $225. But this also included postage and handling. So maybe it was, maybe they were both for $200. I don't know. But just to prove to you that this is no BS, and I won't be able to get this all in the screen, but I wanted to show you that here's a, a box of 8182. It's actually wrapped. And I don't know if this is the one that I got from Mr. Montando or not. Uh, but I also sent two boxes away to PSA to get graded. So, uh, and then the other thing, as far as that set goes, when I bought the set, I, I liked it because based on the pictures that I saw in Sports Collector's Digest, um, this card looked pretty good. Uh, and in fact, I got it graded about four months ago and it's really hard to get this card much higher than an eight and a half. As, as I said, I don't think there's a 10 on the planet. And the reason is this. On the back, um, if you get a well-centered card on the front, the back's always going to be askew where it's uh, very thin on the um, what I'm seeing on the right side. This is a uh, an eight uh, in the last couple of sales. Uh, let's say the sales on average for an eight or, um, and I think this one's been going up too, because I saw a nine went for like, I want to say recently for like 16 grand or something like that. So is an eight equivalent to an eight and a half in uh, BVG? That could be argued. Maybe v BVG grades a little softer. I don't know. But I would say that that Julia Serving card, less everything else, everything else. Uh, and there's a lot of really important cards, second, third, fourth year cards, um, is worth, say, 
let's just say 3,500 on the low side, and let's say that the tops box is worth uh, 3,500 on the low side. That's seven thousand dollars, and I spent basically 400 bucks, not including shipping and insurance. So not quite 20 times has uh, this stuff gone up over the. Man, that's just crazy. So thanks so much for watching. Again, it's Mitch Boyle, Triple Double Sports Cards. Everything's just better in the sun.